Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. Google マップがあってもね、やっぱり最終的に人間と話したいですよね。なんとなく安心します。でもね、道案内するとき、ネイティブスピーカーが絶対に許可書通りに喋らない。Where is? Go straight. Turn left. って言ってる人がほとんどいないと思います。いろんな表現を使って結局日本人が笑ってごまかすしかないですよねそんなことはないですできるようになりますおもてなしおもてなしここからは英語でいっぱい話しますので皆さん頑張って最後まで見てくださいね OK Let's get started Part 1 Asking for directions. Let's start off with how to actually ask for directions. It's always polite to start off with, Excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but excuse me, I don't want to bother you, but remember the pronunciation is excuse me. Try not to say it. With a katakana accent. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How do I get to? How do I get to the British Museum from here? Do you know where I can find? Do you know where I can find the box office? If you're holding a map or a smartphone, you can point and say, Could you tell me how to get to? Could you tell me how to get to this place? Could you tell me how to get to this park? Okay, here is a key point. Remember not to say, teach me. You have to say, tell me. A lot of my students make this mistake. Now, a polite way of asking is to say, Would you happen to know? Would you happen to know where? Something, something is? Would you happen to know where the movie theater is? Would you happen to know where a post box is? And if you've been going all over the place and you still can't find it, you can say, Where is this? Or, Where am I? Don't say, Where is here? It just sounds weird and unnatural. You could also say, I've lost my way. Could you help me? I'm a little lost. I'm trying to find the aquarium. And if you are really, really lost, you can use this phrase I have no idea where I am. Help me! Let's see the English in action. Excuse me, I'm a little lost. Do you need some help? Yes, that would be great. Would you happen to know where the entrance to Central Park is? Central Park? Yeah, well, the easiest way is to just head down that way, follow the street all the way down until、uh, you see the lights. Make a right at the lights and just keep on going. Make a right at the lights? Yeah, okay. So then when you, you go straight down there and turn right、uh, at the lights, And then you'll see this huge post office building on the right. So the entrance to Central Park is on the opposite side. You can't miss it. So it's opposite the post office building. That's great. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Hey, you want a hamburger? I've got lots here. They're really good. No? You sure? No, thanks. I'm good. Bye. Let's look at some of the key points. So the first one was. Would you happen to know where the entrance to Central Park is? Would you happen to know where the entrance to Central Park is? Make a right at the lights and keep going. Make a right at the lights and just keep on going. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Let's watch the whole thing again. Excuse me, I'm a little lost. Do you need some help? Yes, that would be great. 
Would you happen to know where the entrance to Central Park is? Central Park? Yeah, well, the easiest way is to just head down that way, follow the street all the way down until uh, you see the lights. Make a right at the lights and just keep on going. Make a right at the lights? Yeah, okay. So then when you, you go straight down there and turn right uh, at the lights, and then you'll see this huge post office building on the right. So the entrance to Central Park is on the opposite side. You can't miss it. So it's opposite the post office building. That's great. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Hey, you want a hamburger? I've got lots here. They're really good. No? You sure? No, thanks. I'm good. Bye. チャンネルを登録してくださいね。あとはいいねを押してください。何かわからないわかるの？何かわからないことがあったらぜひぜひあのコメント欄のところ何でも聞いてください。ちゃんと返事しますよ。Thank you. Part two. When we just don't know. If a person has no idea. They might be a tourist or they might not live in the area. They might say, I'm sorry, I'm not from around here. I'm sorry, I'm a stranger here myself. Oh, I'm not sure. You'd better ask someone else. Sorry. And the best response to this is, thanks anyway. You can also say, Oh well, it was worth a try. It was worth a shot. Thanks for your time. Part 3 Giving Directions. When you finally meet someone who does know the way, they might not use expressions that you learned in a textbook. They might start off by saying, The easiest way is. The quickest way is. The best way is. No, the textbook might say, go straight down this street. But it's more natural to say, head down that way. Just go down that street. It's basically that way. Just follow this street. Stay on this street. Here's a key point. Now, Some of my students are confused by the use of up and down. Go up this street, go down this street. But you know what? It doesn't really matter if you say up or down. Nobody really cares about it unless you're on a big hill. The textbook might also say turn right at those lights. But people might also say, take a right at the lights. Make a right at the lights. Hang a right at the lights. In Japan, a lot of people use the word signal when talking about this. Okay, okay, it's not a mistake, but the word lights or traffic lights is much more standard. Let's take a look at the English in action. Oh, excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Yes. Can I help you with something? I'm sorry to bother you, but we're a little lost.、Uh, by the way, my name is Bob, and that's my wife over there. Her name is Barbara Jane. Hey! Barbara Jane, get over here! Oh, hi. Well, yeah, it's a big city. Where are you headed? Would you happen to know where the Sensoji Temple is? Are we in the right place? Sure. It shouldn't take you any more than five or six minutes. That's great. You're a lifesaver. Okay, well, you're gonna wanna keep going down this road. You'll come、yeah. to a load of rickshaws on、oh. the side of the road. 
Yeah. I'll come to a load of rickshaws? Then where should I go? Yeah, and then you go past them and uh, you come to a big intersection. It's right there. The gates to the temple are bright red. You can't miss it. Y'all Japanese people are so friendly. Thank you so much. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Gotchi so sama deshita. Eh, Nippon Ashtomasu. Let's take a look at some of the key points. I'm sorry to bother you, but we're a little lost. I'm sorry to bother you, but we're a little lost. Are we in the right place? Are we in the right place? You're gonna wanna keep going down this road. Okay, well, you're gonna wanna keep going down this road. Let's watch the whole thing again. Excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Yes, can I help you with something? I'm sorry to bother you, but we're a little lost. Uh, by the way, my name's Bob, and that's my wife over there. Her name is Barbara Jane. Hey, Barbara Jane, get over here. Oh, hi. Well, yeah, it's a big city. Where are you headed? Would you happen to know where the Sensoji Temple is? Are we in the right place? Sure. It shouldn't take you any more than five or six minutes. That's great. You're a lifesaver. Okay. Well, you're going to want to keep going down this road. You'll come yeah. to a load of rickshaws on uh -huh. the side of the road. Yeah. I'll come to a load of rickshaws? Then where should I go? Yeah, and then you go past them and you come to a big intersection. It's right there. The gates to the temple are bright red. You can't miss it. Y'all Japanese people are so friendly. Thank you so much. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Gotchi so sama deshita. Eh, Nippon Ashtomasu. Sorry about my really bad attempt at an American accent. I really apologize. If any of you guys are American, please forgive me. Part four, landmarks. So people often use landmarks. Hachiko. Like a restaurant or some big statue or something. Okay, here's an example of the kind of sentence you would find in a traditional textbook. Go straight until you reach the second traffic light. It's okay, it's understandable, but in natural conversation, people are likely to use landmarks, just like you would in Japanese. Continue on till Main Street, which is the one with the Starbucks on the corner. Don't stop until you hit the big intersection at Main. Keep on going until you get to the post office on the corner. You're gonna wanna keep going until you see the bank at the lights. Here is another key point. You're gonna wanna. You're gonna wanna. Which means you're going to want to. You're gonna wanna go straight. Part five, talking about time. So people also talk about time when giving directions. How much time do you think it'll take? How much time will it take to get there? The expression get there means to arrive. People say that a lot. It shouldn't take you any more than 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes on foot. It'll take you about five minutes if you walk quickly. It's not really within walking distance. You'd be better off taking the bus. So the expression, you'd be better off doing, ing, you'd be better off taking the bus, basically means you should. So if you wanna take someone to the actual place they want to go, you can use these phrases. I'm going in the same direction. I'll show you the way. I'll take you there. If you like, let me take you to the station. 
It's homework time. Okay, now today's challenge for you is I want you to give me directions from Ueno Station in Tokyo to Ueno Zoo. So they're pretty close, uh, and I want you to write the simple directions uh, how to get there in the comment box below. Okay? Comment on the ところに、えー、その生き方を書いてください。あとでチェックしますよ。Okay? So if you're not from Tokyo, I really apologize,、um, but、uh, maybe you can give me directions to another place. Anyway, just use this as a good opportunity to practice. Give it a go! So, the next time you see a foreign person walking around Japan who needs some directions, maybe you can help them. And when you go to another country,、uh, you should be better at asking for directions too.、Uh, now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. How about this video over here? It's about the pronunciation of country names.